A conservator is somebody who's trained to extend the life of artifacts. So artifacts could be something in a museum, and it can also be things that you have in your own home. My friends and family will occasionally ask me for advice, but sometimes I feel like I'm more pushing advice on them. <laughs> I'll see they have something old and I'm like, oh, you shouldn't be storing it like that. I get a lot of phone calls asking me how to fix something and repair something, but more often I, I get questions about how to display their heirlooms or their family treasures or how to store it so that they can keep it for their grandchildren down the road. So my number one piece of advice is related to handling and display of your personal treasures and heirlooms. So when you're lifting something up, you'll want to pick from the base. For example, with this one, this handle has been repaired and the glue or the adhesive might have become deteriorated over time and this handle might be really weak so if you go to pick it up it could drop and then you'll have a disaster on your hands. My number one piece of advice would be how to preserve photographs. For example, if you have a photograph that you really love and maybe you have it framed on your wall at home, instead of framing the original, you should take it down, have it scanned and print out a copy. Then you can put the original away and you know it's safe and you can still enjoy your image. So another thing that a lot, a lot of people have are these, they're called magnetic photo albums. People commonly have a lot of questions about them because the photos do get stuck to the page. And then there's a question of, well, what do I do next? So what we really recommend is that if you have one of these albums, the very first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is scan each page of the album before you try and remove the photos. There's also some valuable information in knowing how the objects were displayed by the person who first had them. And maybe it tells a story or it progresses chronologically. So that's another layer of historical information that you can capture by scanning them in. So it's not high tech and it's not fancy, but it's essentially a plastic tub. As a tip, this is my number one. Pick your most treasured memorabilia or drawings that your child drew for you. And every layer, every enclosure that you put them in is another layer of protection. So you have your drawing and you have your folder and you have it in the tub. So if there was a flood, it will stay dry. You want to keep your treasures in as good condition as you can for as long as you can. So you can pass it down to family and they can all experience the same story that might be tied to it that you have as well.